Hello everybody, welcome back to Pyrene. We have a new hero today, but before we check them out, I just want to go to the tavern and see... Okay, it looks like there's at least two more. Though I don't know what we get when we upgrade later on. But we need more wood for that. But right now we have... Tanegui? Sure. <laughs> 16 health, 4 provisions, 4 endurance, 1 luck. Broken Star. Your attacks always deal one damage. You can only own one copy of this relic. This corrupted relic has a negative effect. Golden Scroll. You spend the night using gold instead of provisions. You can only own one copy of this relic. Mosquito. As long as this card is in play, after each of your moves, inflict one bleed to one random enemy. As bleed stacks up, the one damage we do will do one damage plus bleed. Gold coins, one damage to random enemy three times, and a health potion. That's going to be interesting. Let's start off in the grasslands. When attacking, Tanugi only does one damage. However, the bleeding inflicted by his loyal mosquito will help him deal more damage. He can also increase his stealth by consuming provisions, making it easier to sneak past monsters. Note that Tanugi spends the night with gold rather than provisions. Switches to stealth mode. You may you move by swapping your position with the card facing you. Each stealth uses one provision. Swap sharp wounds. Triggers the bleed status of all enemies in play. Heals you for one HP per enemy that dies. Friendly mosquito. Swap your position with a mosquito card in play. Okay, so we go to gold. This gets one blood, or one bleeding. Two bleeding. Two, okay. So if we come down here, it was an action even though we didn't move. As long as this card is in play after each of your moves. So an attack counts as a move even though we end up in the exact same place. So now they have two, our attack of one does three. They die. They die. All right, then we spend two gold to rest. Um, I would like to get one damage on this before we take the knife, because the knife will do one damage three times, but it will be one damage plus blood three times. So we'll heal, we'll do that. Take them both out. Three gold. Four gold. Shopping later, I think, is going to be an issue. Five gold coins, though, is nice. Now we have a very interesting decision about when we decide to leave. I think early, it makes sense to try and just do as much as we can. Still have eight health, six gold. We can get through this full lap, no problem. Seven gold, we could afford to do it, but I don't think we need to now. Plus one max HP. Choose a card. Randomly gives you between 1 and 4 spirits. Has a 1 in 20 chance of permanently giving echo to a card in your deck. Inflict 3 burn and 3 damage to all enemies in play. I feel like this early, Fibula is probably the take. Now we need to get rid of something for it. We obviously need the Mosquito. The gold is how we rest instead of having apples and provisions. I think we can go with this for now. Which way do we want to go? I think just do a big infinity sign to do the full lap if we can.
The bleed not necessarily getting exactly where we need it, but that's fine. Excuse my silence for sneezing. Right, so we got burn here. Take two damage when we spend the night. Fine. I did get rid of my healing potion, which may be a regret at this point. Yeah, that's a regret, isn't it? All right, try again. I need to find more spaces to move into that will then apply bleed elsewhere. I'm really impressed with just the sheer variety of character mechanics that I've seen in the half dozen or so hours I've played so far. This goat we're just never going to get to behind the mosquito, it seems. And yet we don't need to. Rest for four. And get the five gold leave. Max one HP is lovely. And choose a card. Heal two, get rid of statuses, inflict three frost and three to three random enemies. Reduce incoming attacks to exactly one. Heal seven HP if we have probably eight or less. Now, if we reroll, that is our source for resting because normally HP and provisions restore at the end of every encounter, but gold doesn't. So if we spend money on rerolling, that's gold that we don't have for resting. So I'm going to not reroll right now. Now, I know last time we had a problem for getting rid of the health potion, but I think the ice ball will do enough for us. Obviously, it's not on the board yet. And that really hurt. Now, we can't move past the mosquito. We can swap positions with the mosquito. I guess we should. Right, once again, I did not take the healing that we might need, which is going to be a problem, because even now freezing... Yeah, we've frozen the wrong side of stuff. <laughs> okay, don't get rid of the... Don't get rid of the healing, is what we've learned. That was smooth. Let's go knife first. That makes that very simple. We could swap for three, but I don't think we need to. There's our altar. I'm going to take out the mosquito because we can just go up right and up. Good. One provision. Less useful here. Spend the night for free. Inflict three bleed to draw on enemies. Inflicts one damage to enemies in the same row and column as you. Inflicts three poison to all enemies in play. I guess spending the night for free is good because that saves us gold. And then the bleed is obviously stuff that we can use.
Alright, we'll do it that way this time. Different shaped board is welcome. You have to remember we also have sharp wounds. Triggers the bleed status of all enemies in play. If I attack here, I'm going to get hit for three and then having to ha attack another time. So we'll let the bleed stack up over there first. could swap, but I'm not gonna. Healing is what we need. That bleeding is a problem. Three sleep. Three bleed on everyone. One spirit triggers the bleed status of all enemies in play. So if I do this... And then this. Yeah, that makes that safer. And we heal a bunch. Which gives us the chance. If we... Oh, we can't swap with this because we don't have enough souls. Fine. Uh, do I want to rest for three gold? Let's try and go up and down again. When we rest, we're going to spend one HP anyway. I think I just ditch. One HP, love it. Coins, love it. Relic chest. Gives plus one to votive shard cards. What is this? Not in your collection. Oh, interesting. Gives plus one to votive shard cards. Using a power also gives you three provisions. That's less useful to me. When an enemy receives frost, it takes as many damage. We don't have that frost ball. That was the last run. I think plus one to votive shards could be good for us. Will help us get greater gear sooner. Snow or swamp. I think we go swamp. Snow is tricky, as far as I recall. Right, bonus affinity. Bleed makes the most sense, but gold, I think. Yeah, I want gold. Uh, pray to the god to reveal talisman power. 12 money to do that. We'll do all of our respective shopping as late as possible. Gives you three provisions, three gold, and three shield. Golden peach gives you four gold. Is interesting. Why is that any better? Oh, it's got, got inflation, that's why. I was about to say any better than a regular pile of gold coins. But if we spend the night using gold, this gets bigger to account for the things that we've done. A small winged creature, Mamorok, are said to come to their friends most when they need them. When they need them most. Choose one of your relics to duplicate. One of my relics. Alright, well none of our relics right now seem worth duplicating, but I will remember that. Oh, whetstone, so good. Gives plus one to a random card in play from your deck. So, the cards in play from our deck. Uh, plus one on Mosquito would be huge. Plus one on Red Scroll would be good. Plus one on the Knife would be very good. We need more Endurance, though. That's a real problem. If I took the Whetstone... What card am I going to get rid of for it, you know? Probably the red scroll for now. Yeah, alright.
So, 16 gold. Whetstone should go to Mosquito specifically because it's the only thing on the board. Yes. Of course, we do not want to eat the Mosquito. So, our health is greatly suffering. Takes one damage after each of your moves. Cannot afford to sharp wounds at all. This character's a toughie. All of this poison is really a problem for me. All right, I know I just went back and forth again, but I need something better. And that ain't it. Goodness. Wow. Right, maybe I need to be doing something very differently. Obviously, I want the five gold before we finish the day. That was probably a mistake. Alright, I'm going to take the mosquito with the goal of just getting out of here as fast as possible now. Eleven, one, ten. We can do that. Right, max HP is wonderful. Deals as much damage as your amount of provisions to all enemies in play triggers one time. Interesting, because we'll always have four provisions. Spends up to four gold, gives it a shield, deals two damage and two frost to all enemies in play. I'll take the pitchfork, because we're always going to have four provisions. Going up. Where do we begin? I don't love that. So this is as much damage as provisions one time. So this is four damage to everybody. That I do like. Go the long way around here. Now, of course, we only have one of those. Can we make the round trip? Well, we can at least visit the health potion on the way around. Two damage, two damage again. Two damage again. Heal. I think we can do. Oh, they didn't have respawn. Okay. They have... Fire. Heal here. Hit that. Grab one of those. Good. Endurance is what we need. Cash. Relic. When you take seven or more damage in a single hit, get three dodge. Spirit cards also give gold. That could be very good for us. When an enemy takes bleed damage, you receive two dodge. Oh, that's unbelievably good. All right, now I think we have hope. I'm 
And an enemy takes bleed. Alright, let's just lean into bleed then. Uh, that gives stuff echo if we want to spend a bunch of money doing it. Exploration rune, that's a plus one. Randomly gives you between one and five spirits. Inflicts four bleed to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction to their adjacent enemies. Chain. Enemies apply the effect to their adjacent enemies and so on. And what was this relic that we took? When an enemy takes bleed damage, you receive two dodge. Golden Peach gives you four gold inflation. Give me, give me the blood potion. We've never seen it before. Um, I don't think we can hold it right now, though. So, that's fine. An anvil for upgrading your cards. Plus one for eight gold. This is echo for 15. We only have 20. This is shopping for cards. Another mosquito would be very interesting. All right, corrupted wood is unideal. They're going to attack us if we move there. We can swap with the light. I don't know if that counts as a move. There's a lot of enemies very early here. Right, so that gave us two dodge. So then we hit there and we get more dodge. We dodge that. We didn't dodge that. Did dodge that. Take the healing. Swap with the firefly. Oh yeah. This dodge has us sorted. Uh, we don't need the healing yet. As long as we have enemies to keep applying the dodge to, everything's great. But I want to spend five gold on another turn. Nah. Plus one max provision. Lovely. Using a special power, he power heals you three. When an enemy receives bleed, gives the same amount of spirits. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. A thousand times yes. This is going to be hilarious. Um, I think we need to do this. Just to get going. So our soul's over here at 11. 15. Trigger bleed. Dodge. Dodge. Sleep. Uh, deals as much damage as provisions. Yeah, now we're cruising. get some corrupted wood. There's our altar. More max H. Oh, no, that's provisions. That's fine. Yeah. Gives you two dodge, inflicts two bleeds to enemy around you. Inflicts four burn and four random enemies. Heals. I don't mind this as like a start to our dodging chain. 
though our lack of stuff does hurt. Okay, we have... Still have the consideration of money to do things. Another steal. Interesting. I knew it. There isn't just one steal. We know Pyrene and her heaven, Heron Suge have freed all the monsters. But what happened next? We'll find out. But first of all, we have to make a tough decision about whether we spend money on Echo or Anvil here for one of our cards. Oh, Echo on Mosquito, surely. Does that work? Now, how much would it be to anvil that as well? Eight. That takes us down to six. We're taking a risk. We'll see how it goes. Can we make do with the six gold we have for resting and then rebuild our wealth? That is a long stage. Inflicts four bleed to adjacent enemies. Oh, we're in the mountains, so gravity is in effect. Cool. I want all that wood. That's going to be great. Dodge. Apply 25 bleed to an enemy. Ah, the bloodbath achievement. Uh, which way do I want to go? We could use some stealth if we need to. That would be fine. They'll take one and two, which is fine. Then we have dodge, so... Get the dodge going. Keep the dodge going. Keep the dodge going. Lovely. We have good cash again compared to where we started this round for sure. Uh, one dodge won't get us to the enemy. They are dead now. Seven gold to rest I think is too much. Oh, oh, no. All right, we have to rest. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We can't swap in empty spaces even in stealth mode. All righty, then. We have five bleed, which is unideal. We can stealth mode home, though. And our mosquito's not here, so there's no point in trying to attack stuff. We'll just get completely wrecked. Okay. <gasps> what is this? This card will be added to your deck. Spend the night three frost. Spend six gold. No. Inflation peaches? Yes. I've never stepped into a portal like this before, so get ready for a journey with me. Between worlds, pass through a mysterious portal. Pray to the god Igra to reveal talisman's power. No money cost for this. Okay, good. Gives three shield. Gives you one gold for each enemy in play. Inflicts three burn and three frost to a random enemy in play. Alright, so that is going to give me three shield right at the beginning. 
Gives you one gold for each enemy in play. Um, pitchfork. We like to do that when there's lots of enemies in play. And healing near the end. Well, that was fun. Uh, this guy can change our things, our core stats. Plus one endurance I would really like, but we cannot afford it at all. There's an exploration rune there. Purchase one or more relics for gold. When an enemy receives ble Oh, we have 158 souls. <laughs> okay, yeah, we should use those like a thousand times over. Gold coins. Free equipment. Uh, inflicts eight burn to adjacent enemies, triggers chain reaction to their adjacent enemies. Throwing knives deals one damage and one bleed to a random enemy in play triggered five times. I think that is going to be great. What would we swap for that? Uh, that might be better than Pitchfork. I'm not sure. We need more endurance, man. We need more endurance. Can Statman give me endurance? Yes, but it's 19. We have 15. All right, let's do some fights then. When a status is applied, double its value. Don't mind if I do. And then, so, triggers bleed for all enemies. Pop. That's certainly some cash, isn't it? Thirty-two bleed. Fifteen dodge. Six gold. Yeah, we haven't even found our thing yet, so we have to. There it is. We still have loads of dodge. But we can't get gold now. Because our enemies are going to drop votive shards. So we're out with 18 gold. Plus one endurance permanently. Totally worth it. Cool. Uh, another blood potion is like a must. Oh, we've got so much good stuff and no room to put anything. Alright, we're coming to the left here. No weather. Yeah, basically, I never need to attack anything again. I just need to use my magic when enemies have status effects. But also throwing knives. Alright, there's the altar. to move to get stuff to trigger. We've got so much dodge as well. We have to rest to get over. Do we just do a full lap? I think we do. Do damage. Loads of dodge. Lovely. Uh, plus one max HP. Always nice. You are immune to thorns. When you receive frost, you receive dodge. When you receive provisions, you heal as many HP. All bad. 
for us, really. But I don't want to spend money re-rolling. I don't think we are going to be able to afford to increase our endurance here, which is a shame, but it is what it is. He's back. Need a little break, Grandpa. Rough climb. Little pipsqueak. Andos, I presume. I've been through more times than you can carry you can imagine. It's not some mountain that came out of nowhere that's going to Ha! Still haven't figured out where this mountain came from. Come on, think a little. Perinsung was hidden in the depths of the earth, so obviously when Pyrin summoned him, his awakening shook the ground. And the strength of his flight lifted the earth. That's what this mountain is. Now that it's here, you'll have to learn to live with it. But with the mediocre equipment you make here, no wonders. Take one of mine, you'll see the difference. Ando's knife. Deal two damage to a random enemy in play triggers two times. Well, that's not good. Mediocre. Been perfecting them for generations, and he thinks he's better than us with his brand new little golden equipment. Bloody. Ruins. Have we been to the ruins before? I think not. Okay, big open swath of space. Mm, what is going on? Dark days. Spend the night is free, but can no longer be triggered manually. When 75% of the slots are empty, the night will pass automatically. You can move to an empty slot by using one provision. When a status is applied, double its value. Broken Wheel. Swaps your position with a random card in play. Interesting. What is that? Spines. Inflicts thorns to its enemy. The value of thorns is equal to the amount of damage inflicted. I hate that. We have 39 dodge. Is this always the case in the ruins? I suppose. Lots of gold. Love to see that. Um, let's swap with our mosquito. Then we can hit those two. We have just heaps of dodge. Heaps and heaps and heaps of dodge. We just keep going if we have this much dodge. This much dodge and this many souls at least. We are a dodge machine. There is an achievement for getting a Voltev altar to a certain number. And I previously thought about getting there and I didn't know that it was as high as I needed to get it. I think I stopped previously at 20. So, wonder what I can do about that.
kill this guy before we move away. That's 16. Our giant dodge bleeding machine shows no signs of letting up. Basically, it's having the provisions to make sure we can move through the empty spaces we need to, though we can also swap with our mosquitoes, so that's nice. That's 21. I think we can make it. Just keep chipping away, swap with the mosquito. We could basically go infinite with this build, I think. So that's now at 30. 31. Eat an apple and leave. Worth the wait. Reach a votive altar value of 30 or more. And we get a very opulent chest. Ring of Isavit inflicts three poison and three bleed to all enemies in play. Pitchfork deals as much damage as your amount of provisions to all enemies in play triggered two times. As long as this card is in play after each of your moves deal one damage to a random enemy. With the blood, with the bleed on everything as well, this is absurdly good. So we just have to, let's say we take out these throwing knives, we put in the blue crystal with the mosquito up front, it's going to be absolutely broken. So where are we? We've got an anvil, we've got 57 gold now after that escapade because we weren't using our gold for resting. Do we go mosquito to four? I think we do. We could go Mosquito to five, but that's greedy. What have we got here? We've got spirits and coins. Oh, five spirits. Yes, I needed those. Gold coins. Up here is an exploration rune. There's our end of expedition. Up here is a holy feather. Up here is a secret. More spirits. Active cards. Right. I think that is the play. So there's danger zone, danger zone, danger zone. I don't think they present that much danger to us right now. Yes, our dodge machine is incredibly well built. And we're still in the dark days, so that's nice. So blue crystal, as long as this card is in play, after each of your moves, do one damage to a random enemy. So two bleed, one bleed, three bleed, one health. It's so good. There's our altar. But we'll start there. No need for anything extreme, I think. Uh, more active cards is very nice. Poison or thorns nine times. Spend the night for free. Increase your shield. You can reroll a little. Inflicts four thorns. Deals one bleed to a random enemy in play triggers one time. I don't think we need that either. Torment. Games one when you take damage. Too much dodge to be taking damage. Chains. Deal three damage to other enemies. Alright, so that's the first time we've ever skipped a reward, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, 
let's go. There is fine. Going down. Red Moon. Enemies have minus one HP, but gain three HP when we rest for the night. Sure. What enemies? I mean, he's still there, I guess. We need to get three more cards out of here. Good. Get two dodge, inflict two bleeds to enemy around you. They're just too powerful. Obviously, we struggled at the top of the episode to get things going, but now they're going. Oh boy. Are we on top of the world? Watch everybody die. Pop. Even more endurance. You love to see it. All right. I think that is everywhere to go. Permanent passive. Adds two apple cards to all danger zones. Gives plus three to enemy loot cards. When an enemy receives bleed, you get that many spirits. How can I not? How can I not have a thousand spirits for the absolute hilarity of it? No more secret rooms. There's a room in the bottom left we haven't done. Right, so we need seven empty tiles. We're going to need to empty a lot of tiles around here. Hard to keep a blue crystal and a mosquito going at the same time here, but we'll do our best. Obviously, the priority getting rid of the blue crystal instead of the mosquito. That sucked. Get him, dagger. Get him. Move away from the mosquito, then we can swap with it. There's our altar. We've got dodge for days. Even more endurance now. I'm happy enough with that. Last reward. There might be a secret beneath us. Uh, spirit cards also heal your HP. When an enemy receives bleed, gives as many gold. Hilarious. Uh, does three damage to enemies around you for each enemy hit gets shield. Gives one on shield inflation. Inflict bleed and seven burn. Inflict two frost, deal five damage to enemies with the HP. Gives you one spirits. Inflation. I'll take an invisibility potion. Did we use this guy to its full extent? We did now. 77 for the next one up. All right, what do we get into the top of the deck? Let's get the invisibility potion going reasonably early. All right, obvious. Oh, what is this guy? Rage. At night, becomes invincible and attacks you from any distance. We should have some dodge by then, I hope. Goodness, I hope. All right, there's some dodge. Oh, 
I almost don't want to take this blood potion yet, but we don't super get a choice because we still have to abide by the rules of Dark Days. Oh, we're done. <laughs> oh, we're so done. Aesop. A free spirit. No one could say where he is where he's from or where he's going. His answers are often impenetrable. Wait, don't go. That steel you're holding. You carved it, didn't you? Since you already know Perrine, do you know her weak points? Do you know how You're asking me if I know. It doesn't matter. I see. I see what you don't know. I know what you don't see. Just look. Stones never lie. He's... he's gone. He may see better than we do, but talking, well... What does all that gibberish mean? Uh, 1,386 spare spirits. What a time. I wonder how much wood we've gained that run. 20, not bad. Sigil of Dawn. Using a special power also spends the night for free. That seems incredibly good. Oh. People are in... Monsters in the village. The monsters, they surrounded us. We managed to fend them off, but... They took Geisha. I saw her being dragged away. She fought back, but the bloody drag attacked me and she... She can't... We've got to go get her. Or... If Pyru knows a single one of her claws on my daughter after what she did to my brother, I swear on... Abeleo, I'll... It's where I'll calm down. This isn't your fight. Look, Leno's already on their way. Leno, the village mage. They spend all their time studying and perfecting the magic of Urge's talismans. Reconquered village. Drive the enemies out of the village. Right, we've got three stones? Yes. Uh, a merchant for spirits, a zone with distinguished relics, an equipment card merchant, an unpleasant relic merchant, an area of somewhat peculiar but sometimes very useful chest, corrupted chests, a zone with birayo, mischievous and sometimes dangerous. Uh, give me a distinguished relic merchant. As for wood, we've got 23. The forge has things for us to unlock as we go. That one seems to be done already. What's the market? Market is other unlocks, relic unlocks for our expedition. All right, we'll unlock some relics. I'm sure that sound effect is in um, Wildermyth as well somewhere. Wind scroll, radiant crown. Find six steals. We've found like two of them so far, haven't we? Maybe that's just ones after this point. Either way, we are ready for a new adventure. Next time, we'll check out this new character and see what's going on with them. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.